Welcome. I'm afraid Grand Solar Minimum News is at it again. So I've had to produce another part of my Grand Solar Minimum Deception series. This is part five, which I've called Offset Error. So what are they up to this time? Well, they're making false comparisons. They showed this plot, which is from the SIDC in Belgium, and tried to compare the level at this peak in solar cycle 24 with the current level of sunspot number marked here with B in solar cycle 25, and claim that A being larger than B, therefore solar cycle 24 is at least as good, if not better than solar cycle 25. This of course is a false comparison. In doing that, they made several bad assumptions. One, that the progression of the all solar cycles is the same, they're not, that the sun is at the same stage of the current cycle as it was back in 2012, which it isn't. And GSM News knows what they're talking about, which we've pro proven over and over again, they don't. Here is a selection of profiles of solar cycles for 12 solar cycles. Now, can you see any similarity between those? I certainly can't. They peak at different times. They have different numbers of, uh, of peaks in each cycle. Some peak early, some peak late, some rise rapidly, some decay slowly, and so on. So you can't take a year-to-year -year comparison and work from that. Here is the plot they should have used. This is a plot of the monthly sunspot number starting at January 2008 going through to the current time, May of 2022. They started their plot way up here in the middle of 2009. Now it turns out that solar minimum was not at that time, but several months earlier. It was actually in December of 2008, marked here with this blue arrow. So they moved the beginning of their plot about six months after solar minimum. The minimum between solar cycle 24 and 25 was in December of 2019, almost exactly 11 years later. So when you do a comparison and you've shifted the beginning part of the cycle, you'll get a false comparison, which is what they did. So they started comparing the peak in 2022 with the peak that was right at the end of 2011 and said, and drew various incorrect conclusions. So here I've plotted the average sunspot number Starting at solar minimum in each of the cases, orange is solar cycle 25, blue is solar cycle 24. And so this is an actual comparison on a similar basis measured from solar minimum. Now you can see that we are nowhere near yet that peak that he was using at the end of 2011 for, compar for comparison with solar cycle 25. So this is an unfair comparison that he's got here. In fact, looking at these points, you can see that solar cycle 25 is ahead of solar cycle 24 most of the time. Let's see if we can quantify that. Here is the ratio of the two. If the ratio is above one, that means solar cycle 25 was more intense than solar cycle 24 at the same stage. If it's below one, it's the other way around. When we take the average of all of these, the average comes out at 1.76. So that basically says that solar cycle 25 is about 75% or 76% ahead of solar cycle 24 in activity for the same stage through the first 29 months of their respective cycles. So what conclusions can we draw from all of this? Well, first of all, the Grand Solar Minimum News made a false comparison between solar cycle 24 and 25. They shifted the numbers, so the comparison would imply that solar cycle 24 is equivalent or greater than solar cycle 25, thus supporting their hypothesis that we're in a grand solar minimum. To do that, they offset the start of solar cycle 24 by six months to make the comparison. That is dishonest or at least exceedingly incompetent. The truth is solar cycle 25 is running at about 76% ahead of solar cycle 24 at the moment in terms of sunspot numbers. This is consistent with the numbers of active regions, flares, coronal mass ejections, and the 21 centimeter radio flux, and just about any other activity parameter 
that you can imagine. Yes, I know they want to sell you more coffee mugs and a t-shirt. I want you to subscribe to their uh, channel, but the game is over. There is no grand solar minimum occurring at the moment and unlikely to be for at least another decade or two. So thank you for watching. I much appreciate you tuning in. And so until next time, stay safe and goodbye.